you want to play Metroid Prime, all the Wii games, all the GameCube games, even Game Boy games uh, for free, well, you can, because Nintendo doesn't allow us to get any digital version of these games in an efficient, good way. So that's why things like Delta, Alt Store, all these foreign things that you're starting to install, I'm gonna show you how to get them done on Mac and Windows. So strap on and let's hit it. Alrighty, so on our PC or Mac, we're going to first download it. You go over here and select on the altstore.io, any link or website, I'm gonna have it in the description, so make sure you check that out. So download the alt server for Windows or Mac OS. Um, once you download it, it's gonna be in your downloads, you install it, you know, run as an administrator on Windows, and normal installation on Mac. It's gonna look like this icon over here. So once this is enabled, it's not gonna pop a typical window. It's actually going to be in your task bar. And over here is the alt store installer guide thingy. So you're going to want to plug in your iPhone or iPad, whatever device, and unlock it and then trust your computer or Mac. You know, when it asks you, do you trust this computer? You put in your phone code and you're good. Leave it unlocked and make sure it doesn't go to sleep. So you're gonna want to install it. Hit over here on your phone, it should show up or your iPad. I already have it installed. And then this icon is going to show up on your screen, on your phone or device. Then before we touch our device, I want you to finish everything here on the PC or Mac. Head over to uh, your finder for non-Windows users and make sure your device shows up in locations uh, or on the left side of this thing. It should show up. If not, it's probably shrunk, so you need to expand it. Now, your device, select it and then scroll all the way down and make sure that it is on Wi-Fi synchronization or show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi. This will allow your iPhone or iPad to refresh the, the apps because the alt store needs to refresh every seven days if you're not a developer with Apple, you know, the $100 a year. Yes, those people can, uh, they don't need to refresh uh, through this method at all, pretty much once a year, of course. Um, but us that don't have the Apple developer license, we're going to need to refresh our alt store and apps every seven days. I'll show you how to do that. Plus, back on the computer, on the FAQ or FAQ uh, section of the Alt Store <laughs> website, you're gonna go to the Mac OS version and in here it's gonna explain a bunch of things for you or on the Windows one. So if you get stuck somewhere, make sure you refer back to this guide or my video or, or both, for more. <laughs> anyway, and I'll help you in the comments if you need help. So what we have going on here is that the mail syncer or syncing function for iPhone and iPad on Mac OS uh, needs to happen with the mail app. So what you're gonna do is head over to your alt store here in the top and mine says on install the mail plugin, but it already has it installed. So you're gonna hit install and it'll reset. It'll like this mail app will close and it'll reboot, not your computer, just the app itself. It'll restart the app. So don't worry about that. Follow the instructions. It's way easy. Uh, and then of course this guide will show you how to do that too, but by going to enable mail plugin that will be in the description too of my YouTube video. So then once we have all these things, Wi-Fi synchronization, we have the mail plugged in, mail plugin enabled, we're going to go to our device and it's way simple. Go to settings, general, and then profile and device management. In there you should see trust so so email and whatnot, trust it and you'll be good to be able to go on from there. Like it says here, you are now ready to sideload apps, meaning you can get Delta, which is what you use to play Nintendo uh, Game Boy games and um, Super Nintendo, like Super Metroid and stuff like that. And then if you wanna do GameCube, you're going to need Dolphin for iOS or Dolphin iOS. So that's all I can show you for this video today. Make sure you follow the playlist I mentioned earlier. There will be again on the little bubble on top for JIT and all that. And if you need help, let me know in the comment section below and let's keep going. And this is gonna be a little series that I'm making for you. So your input as it goes will help it be better and better. This will work on iOS 16, by the way. It's been confirmed by the Alt Store. Every time a beta comes out, they do confirm that. And I do check it with Twitter. So make sure you follow me there too. And and I'll let you know if something changes, but for now, it's looking like it's gonna work with iOS 16.
Now with inside the alt store, it's first gonna take you to news, you know, it's gonna tell you a bunch of stuff here that you don't really need to, but it's actually easy. You just head to the browse tab and you'll see a few apps here and there that if you don't know what they are for, then you probably don't need them to be messing around with them. So Delta is the Game Boy Advanced, um, Super S SNES, uh, what also Nintendo 64 emulator. It is free, but of course, uh, there are some features that are going to be on their Patreon. Uh, but anyway, for all most people's case scenario, you don't need to do the Patreon. This will work for you. Uh, it does save states and all that. And if you want to learn more about how to do transferring of saves between devices or how to manage them, let me know and I'll make another video. So make sure you subscribe and follow me for that. Then, of course, we're going to head down to the Dolphin one, which also has its separate way of doing I uh, save files and whatnot. I'll show you all that. I've never done the Dolphin iOS public beta, never needed to, so don't worry about that one. Just get the normal one. It recently got updated and it's been optimized quite good. They rewrote the code foundation in um, around the beginning of this year, so it's been really, really stable and good. I've been running Metroid Prime. Let me show you so that you, know, you believe me. But before I show you, this is where you refresh your apps. This over here, mine says six days and it expires, meaning once it expires, I can't use it again unless I am connected to Wi-Fi, but or you connect directly to your computer and hit install alt store, you know, kind of like doing it again. But it's so easy, it takes less than like a minute. So if it expires, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. So hit refresh and it should refresh them through Wi-Fi if you have it set up right. I'm Richie Rich Labs and Moro7 coming at you today and I'll see you in the next video. I ran out of things to say. <laughs> Peace out.